coming back up. He's coming back. I can see him. He's coming up. He's coming up. When the shark finally releases the bag, they have a series of bite force numbers. The biggest is 350 pounds. 350, that's a huge bite. But it's still not even close to the bull shark. And how long do you think that shark was? You know, it wasn't the biggest shark. It was only about three meters, nine, 10 foot. So nine or 10 feet, that's about the same size as the bull shark that gave us a 900 pound bite. This guy, 350 pound bite. That's still a huge bite, but nothing close to the bull shark. And I'm convinced. The bite bag is a great new design, but also the bull shark has the stronger bite. I mean, that's a big shark. Nothing even close, though, to 900 pounds. You know, from my side, it's a bit disappointing. Great whites are your <laughs> pinnacle shark. Uh, this is what I've had as a pinnacle shark. Yeah, not so great anymore, my friend. It's totally unexpected. The much smaller bull shark is the bite force leader. But that doesn't mean it's the deadliest predator. There's another factor that could tip the scales. Great whites don't usually attack people. But when they do, their teeth can leave behind a deadly stew of bacteria. The upper teeth are serrated, designed for cutting and sawing. The teeth in the lower jaw are used for impaling. They're sharper than in the bull or the tiger and could help to drive bacteria even further into a wound. Brady's already collected samples from the other sharks. That is a monster. But this time, he'll literally be hands-on. Come on, big boy. Say hello. Brady will try to hold the shark's mouth open long enough for Ryan to jam in the rubber slug. Oh! Oh! Oh, my! Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's there, go. She's turning, she's turning, she's turning. Go for it, mate. That's it, that's it. And out. Oh! Woo! Woo, that was close. It was, it was. You're going oh, man, right, you for, right for the motor. Thing. I know it. Now stay oh. this way. Right, that was a good practice. Yeah. All right, here she comes again. This is good, this is good for us. Yikes. Oh, that's, that's a bigger big one. one. Hey. That's a big shark. This is the one we want. That is just a massive animal. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get it in. Get it in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! Coming straight up. See that? See that maw? That thing is this big. Woo! When you talk about looking death right in the face, girl. Oh, my God. You can't get much better than that. Woo! Oh, look, there we go. The great white shark bacteria are analyzed, along with the other samples. They're put through a series of tests, and after weeks of waiting, the results are in. They confirm what other studies based on dead sharks have shown. The jaws of all three species are crawling with dangerous germs. Bacteria found in these sharks are known to cause serious wound infections and potentially deadly illnesses, including septicemia, diseases that could land you in intensive care. Worse, the tiger, and the bull in particular, have bacteria that are resistant to many antibiotics, making them even more dangerous. 